Come on, bud. There's a whole other world of dragons out there. Unbelievable. What do you say? What should we name it? Itchy armpit it is. In the second film, the characters are all five years older, so everyone's a little more grown into themselves. Um, and Hiccup and Astrid, their relationship has, they're 20 now, so their relationship is veering a little towards the romantic. Hey! Yo, all my glory, it's my glory! Oh, it's ruining everything! No sheep, no glory! Gotcha. <laughs> Whoa! Astrid! I've always related to Astrid. I was a very kind of in the middle of the action, competitive young spirit growing up. And um, so Astrid's always come pretty naturally, but it was nice to kind of age them up and it sits a little bit more comfortably in, in the vocal range and also just personality wise, um, you know, they're coming closer to, to our actual ages. I bet you think you know a lot about dragons. Can I know you? No. But a mother never forgets. You know, I'm a huge fan of the first film and thought, I don't know how they're going to live up to this or, you know, they'll never make it any better. Like, how could you top this? But I saw the second film and I just was in awe. And, and I would dare say that it's even bigger and better than the first film was, which I think was a tall order. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like it's a it's a film that the people who love the first one will love the second one. H hold on, wait just a minute. This wait. Come back here. Come. You're my mother? I mean, what the? Do you, do you grasp how insane it sounds? Come, quickly. I have questions. I love animated movies that don't talk down to the audience, mm. that you know, animation's a great medium to tell good stories, and and being and when I was young, I loved stories that um, that stretched me a little bit, that that weren't talking down to a young audience. Mm -hmm. And I think Dean, our writer director, is 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 very much you know of the mind that he's going to tell a good story and not underestimate the audience. And so I think some of those. Um, deeper themes and storylines are the the of course the adult audience will love, but I think that that the the children audience they get too in, in a way. And I always loved those kind of movies when I was young. Now, hopefully, at the premiere of this film, we don't have any weird guys trying to hide underneath your dress. But looking back on that, how surreal and weird was that? It was a very kind of confusing and shocking moment, and um, you know. We've moved on from it. I, of course, have to ask you about Ugly Betty. Any reunions on the cards? You know, it's always a possibility. Yeah. It's really wonderful that our fans always ask and that our fans are still passionate about seeing more of the show and more of those characters. And I certainly love Betty and love the world. And um, it's always a possibility, so we'll see. The last time we saw her, she was in London, where we are today. Um, and I guess she, I mean, by now she's probably running something. She's definitely Definitely. the boss by now. Mm. <laughs> oh boy. I know what you're gonna say. You're as beautiful as the day I lost you. <laughs> what a team now. Now what do you want to do? Drago's coming for our dragons. We have to stop him together. Don't worry, bud. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. Distract the Alpha. Have a nice flight. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, baby! 